All right, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my long-term review of the Samsung Z Fold 6 S Pen case. But actually, before we get into it, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway of this Poetic case. This is a bulky and versatile Z Fold 6 case that I actually do like. Personally, I don't use bulky cases, but I do think the quality of this is pretty good. And honestly, the in-hand feel is decent. You can watch my video on that over here, but I am gonna be giving away this case. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see how you can enter for the giveaway to receive this case for your own Z Fold 6. So let's get into the video now. All right, so Samsung upgraded the S Pen case for the Z Fold series this year. And honestly, it was it was a really good upgrade. I won't, I won't lie, I like I liked the change they made. Like I feel like the slimness this year was really good for this S Pen case. And even the look was decent. I don't like how the, the S Pens were just two tone and like, especially like this yellow and um, this one grew on me, but when I first saw it, I was like, what the heck are they doing, bro? And I know my case is destroyed, it's busted up right here, I'm gonna explain that later on. But yeah, these cases came out and they were definitely improved. They definitely felt better. They definitely seemed like they would be better. But after some months of, you know, daily driving this case, I wanna talk about how it has held up. So this is my wife's phone and case, and you can see, if you look around, there's some dings, and dents and stuff like that. She definitely, um, you know, dropped out of her hand a couple times. And yeah, like overall, it definitely protected her phone while it was dropping, but actually not really, not fully because this dent right here, as you can see the case kind of split and the phone was actually dented beneath the case. So it didn't really protect it that much at all. So if you're counting on this S Pen case to protect your phone when you drop it, I wouldn't put too much hope in it. Like your phone's still gonna get dented and it can still get scuffs and stuff like that. It might not get destroyed completely because that's what this case will do. It will protect it from getting destroyed. But in terms of the phone being touched underneath the case, it's definitely possible as you saw here. But like this is also the corner, so maybe that's why. But yeah, in terms of protecting the phone, it definitely did that job. I, I don't know how well it protected it. That's up to you for you. That's for you to decide. I think it was pretty decent when you consider the fact that this is a you know $3,000 phone in Canada, depending on your configuration the case protected it for sure but the experience using the case honestly for me and for my wife wasn't that good when you talk about the front piece so you know i mean this is a given but a lot of these cases have the lip and personally i don't like the lip my wife doesn't like the lip but like it just makes navigation so much worse because you gotta like roll over the lip and it can get in the way of your back gestures and your you know swiping up to go home and stuff like that and then this piece right here this is the annoying part most foldable phone cases are like this with the loose left side, but this is just bad. Like the adhesive barely worked at all. Like it, it basically was worn out after like maybe a week of using this case, daily driving it. So this is not held up at all in terms of like staying on the phone. And then on top of that, because the adhesive fails, like if it's very loose and it comes off so easily. And um, I even tried to put on, put my own adhesives to help it out, but you know, it just, it didn't work it wasn't enough to fix this case and make it work properly so the front piece garbage the back piece is all right but i i feel like using this case without the front piece makes the phone feel too unbalanced because it's just a little too thick to run run it like that like comparing the phone itself to the, the piece of the case it's just too thick so personally i didn't like running like that my wife was running like that for a little bit and you know it, it definitely held her down it was working but it's not the best experience in terms of the ergonomics and the feel and also this case actually adds a decent amount of weight to the phone too so for someone like her who doesn't like heavy phones like the phone itself was fine in terms of weight but then when she put this case on it was like you know a little bit too much so yeah in terms of durability it's pretty decent but you know your phone can still get damaged underneath the ergonomics are fine but when you wear one side of the case it's not the best experience and then just the overall quality of this case doesn't feel like it's 80 dollars worth like really you're just paying for the s pen and then the case is kind of like oh here we'll throw this in for you that's how i honestly feel so now the story with my case why is my case cut up like this so the reason why i cut it up like this is because one this case like i said is just not the best experience and i didn't enjoy using it so i want to just preserve the phone's form factor and use it without a case so I saw somebody on Reddit, they posted how they cut up their case and then they put their S Pen on the back of the phone like that. And I thought it looked pretty sick. So I thought, you know, let me try the same thing. But obviously, you know, I'm not good at this kind of stuff. 
So I started cutting it, but then I was cutting too close to the seam of the inside of the case. And as you can see, I kind of messed it up. And then my wife, you know, she finished it. Her cuts look a lot better than mine. Like we, we talking about here and stuff or whatever. She made it look better, way better than it was before. But yeah, ultimately I kind of just messed it up and it does, I don't think it looks that good. Maybe I need to sand it down or something like that. So I might do that in the future, but cut it off so I could put it on the back of the phone directly by itself. I used it for a little bit, then I took it off because I just didn't like how it looked. So I really just tried to, you know, use the, the best part of this case. The reason why you buy this case in the first place is for the S Pen. I tried to just take that out of the case and use it by itself. And it was all right, but I didn't really like how it looked. If you're thinking that this case will preserve the feel of the phone and the form factor, I don't necessarily think that's the case. Mainly you're buying this case for a slightly more protection and to have your S Pen with you at all times. This case is not that revolutionary of doing it all, you know. It's a decent upgrade from last year's case, but again, the adhesives are so weak. And even the back piece kind of moves, like it's not like 100% flush with the phone. So like little debris and stuff can get underneath the case very easily. And then, you know, over time as you're using it, it can move back and forth and scratch the phone or whatever. You're gonna have to frequently clean this because it will allow dust to get underneath and stuff like that. And these foldable phone cases are not that friendly when, when taking them off and putting them back on and stuff like that. So yeah. It's not the best experience, but long term, it hasn't even been that long and like it's, it's already kind of like the adhesives are destroyed and you know, I've given up on this case. My wife has given up on this case. So yeah, this is just our experience. Other people might have a different experience with this case, but yeah, I just want to share that. So here's how you can enter to win this case for yourself. Number one, like the video. Number two, make sure you're subscribed. And then number three, let me know in the comments below, do you rock your phone with a case or without a case? And then hashtag that comment with hashtag giveaway and you will be entered into the, the giveaway for this. And then number five, make sure you follow me on Instagram. That is jamalt.ly. And once you comment and you follow me on Instagram, you'll get two entries for the giveaway. So yeah, if you want to win this case for yourself, then make sure you do all those steps. The giveaway will be announced on November 10th. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the announcement and see if you want the case for yourself. And that is it for this video. We are out. Peace.